Feels good to be here. What's up? Some nice looking chandeliers. <laughs> I've been feeling a lot of resistance lately in my life. And I understand why, but at the same time, it feels difficult to come out of it. And I'm just looking for relief, pretty much. Well, you could not have begun the gathering with a better statement or question because it's right where we want to begin too. You said some key words. You said, I'm looking for some relief. And so just sit with us for just a minute because we're going to give you a very brief but very strong basis to move forward from. And you're really going to like it and you haven't heard it from us before in this way. So if you've been listening to us for a little while, we've been talking about your emotions and how your emotions are guidance about how well integrated you are with the vibration of your inner being or how off you are, how allowing aligned you are or how resistant you are. You use the word resistant, you can feel it already. So over time, we offered to you processes to help you find that very relief that you're talking about. In fact, we printed out for you, it's in the Ask and It Is Given book, an emotional guidance scale that starts with very hard feeling, not good feeling emotions such as despair or depression and moves all the way to ecstasy and love and appreciation all the way to those higher frequencies that have less resistance. And right in the middle of that emotional guidance scale is a word that Esther translated from the vibration that we were offering her and she called it contentment and today she is finding a word that is even more perfect the word is satisfied or satisfaction but it means the same thing so if you're looking at that scale you'll find it like right in the middle and the reason that we want you to focus upon that middle place sometimes we do the scale this way sometimes we do the scale this way but you get the sense that there are emotions that feel different from denser and heavier and awfuler to lighter and freer and better so satisfaction is where we want to start picture that satisfaction right there in the middle of the scale and in that satisfaction if that's where you are you could easily lean into more satisfaction or into less satisfaction because there's not much momentum going on you have control at the point of satisfaction it's like the analogy that we've offered for years about being in San Francisco on those high hills in your car the bay is down below you take your parking brake off and take your car out of gear and decide to give yourself a physics lesson and so you just push your car a little bit from behind saying to your friends I wonder what will happen next well you really don't wonder you know what's going to happen next that car is going to go faster and faster down that hill right into the bay and so before it gets moving at all you change your mind because you like this car and you step out in front of it and it bumps up against you and it stops it was easy to stop because there was no momentum well that's what this is like when you are in the satisfied mode it's easy to stop but if you are in despair or if you are in discouragement if you are angry then just saying I'm not gonna do that you can't help it because law of attraction already has you in its spell it's not because you are weak it's not because you are wrong it's not because your inner being wants you to think differently than you are it's that you are thinking in opposition to what your inner being thinks which always feels bad because your inner being is always the full essence of who you have become all that you are all that you've asked for and so when you say I want to find some relief we want to say to you we've been wanting to help you all find relief for quite a long time but we want you to feel with us right now and then we'll talk about specifics with you we want you to feel the distinction because there is an important one between finding relief and finding satisfaction because in satisfaction there is no resistance and when there is no resistance you're going to move into much faster momentum much faster in other words even in the analogy where you took the car out of gear and took the parking brake off you released resistance and off you're going 
you see what we're getting at and so can you feel the distinction between relief and satisfaction let's sort of use that as a basis of understanding as we are moving along here today because it will be the fastest path for you to get from wherever you are to wherever you want to be sometimes you just have to lay low and wait till you stop thinking about something which usually means there has to be a big distraction or you have to sleep some or you would meditate some but there's no point in struggling against resistance because the more you focus upon it the bigger it becomes logical so you've been struggling with some resistance so do you think it would be a benefit for us to try to tackle the subject of your resistance no so let us just ask you a question is there anything in your life to which you feel easy satisfaction um yeah but I so you can sort of feel where he's at yeah <laughs> so yes but not really so much and especially not right now therefore let's take the subject of dissatisfaction and let's feel together to see if we can find anything remotely satisfying about it in other words are there any positive aspects relative to this subject the other morning Esther woke up <laughs> and she has a notebook by her bed most nights and when she woke up actually we could hardly wait for her to wake up and we don't think it's right to wake her up but we just get really frisky and then she wakes up and so we don't lick her like your dog might but it's close and so she woke up and in her mind was the thought of satisfaction because she had heard us talking about it at the last two or three seminars and so she took her notebook and with our influence she drew a line down the middle of a big yellow page and she wrote satisfied on one side and dissatisfied on the other and then she thought of several things that she easily felt satisfied about and this is one of them being here with you is a very satisfying experience for Esther so she wrote a few things and then the thought came to her mind is there anything I'm dissatisfied about and something came right to mind is something that had happened at work it wasn't a very significant thing but she felt dissatisfaction about it she's closed the offices on Monday because she wants her staff to feel freedom and happiness in their life so she said what do you think about we'll close Monday so you can just have a longer weekend and I'll pay you for Monday you just don't have to work it it's 52 day a year gift from Esther to the people she loves pretty nice and they liked it a lot for a week they still like it but something started happening on Monday she kept meeting things at the office that they had set into motion that needed to be tended to even though they weren't there and Esther was there she lives on the property and so she met the FedEx man at the gate and Esther said well just throw the packages in the back of my car the office is closed and he said I don't have packages I'm here for a pickup and Esther said oh I have no idea what it's about and he was so nice and yet obviously disappointed <sighs> he said <sighs> and Esther said I'm really really very sorry but I can't help you I have no idea I don't know what goes on over there where they all are <laughs> now Esther's thinking about that she's got her yellow pad and she's thinking that's disappointing now she's right here satisfied or not satisfied satisfied or not satisfied well she went into dissatisfaction legitimate dissatisfaction really legitimate dissatisfaction that she didn't want to feel and so she quickly asked herself the question is there anything about these rascals who have made this terrible mistake is there anything satisfying about them this 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 she was on her third page and she said to herself I think I've got it so much more to feel satisfied about than this one misunderstanding whatever it was and yet you know you can go down the rabbit hole pretty easily when you get focused upon something and you know why because law of attraction will help you 
law of attraction if you get moving in that direction will remind you of everything that you don't like about situations like this not only about your life but others talk about it over dinner and find out you could go either way you just have to decide which way do you want to go which means you just have to decide which way do you want the momentum to go because right now Esther knows I got control of this I've got control of this day right now do I want to give it up do I want to give up the control the leverage of interacting a finding vibrational resonance with this energy that creates worlds do I want to give it up well clearly she did not want to give it up and so that's what we want to say to you you got to catch it early and if you don't catch it early then most of all don't beat up on yourself for not feeling good because law of attraction is really a strong influence in the direction of your thoughts you've just got to catch them early that's why we're teaching meditation in such a strong way when you meditate you release resistance because you stop all thought and your vibration rises and when your vibration rises you're far more than satisfied that's a really wonderful way to begin any day so you get it conceptually the theory of it is sound you can prove it to yourself over time so right now do you want to speak your dissatisfaction and see if you can lean satisfied or will it take you too far too fast away from satisfaction I feel like I'm on the fence with that like depending on which way I lean if I lean too close to dissatisfaction I don't want to bring myself in that place. so you practice lots of dissatisfying thoughts and your tendency really is if we talk about it you're gonna lean that way yeah and there's a really strong probability that even though you're speaking with us and we're really good at this that we still will not be able to bring you back to satisfaction because that momentum is already so strong so you don't want to risk it do you no we've enjoyed this interaction <laughs> immensely you feel satisfied for now mm -hmm. really good now that right there that is the key there is not anything more that you would ever need to know about living happily ever after there's not anything more than that that you would need to know about just not being willing to activate things that work against you and being wise enough to know there's something is activated that already is working against you and you know that it is because it feels bad to just do whatever you can to diffuse it we don't have anything else for you if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next